Conversations at Home. Tom's house is very cozy and a happy family. Let's watch the video and see daily life of everyone in the family. Wake up, Tom and Lana. You have to get up right away to have breakfast and go to school on time. Oh, yes, Mom. Come on, Lana. Why are you still sleeping? Mom, please, just let me sleep in a few minutes. I'm so sleepy. No, do you know what time it is? It's half past seven now. You don't want to be late for the bus, right? Okay, Mom. Ah, uh, I've prepared sandwiches and milk for your breakfast. Enjoy your breakfast. Thanks, Mom. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Dad. You are looking so sad. What happened, Lana? Yes, Mom. I had a bad dream last night. I'm still feeling afraid now. What was your dream about? Could you remember it and tell us? Hmm. I dreamed that I was lost in the desert and there was no water left in my bottle. I was very thirsty and hopeless. No one could hear me, even though I screamed so loud. It sounds really scary. How about you, Tim? Did you sleep well last night? Yes, Dad. I even had a sweet dream. Lily and I went out and we ate a lot of fried chicken. We also went to the circus together. Wow, my boy has a girlfriend. <laughs> Finish my breakfast. I'll go to the bus stop now. Goodbye, Mom, Dad, and Tom. Bye, sweetie. Have a good day. What's the matter, baby? Are you looking for something? Yes, Mom. Do you see where my bag is? I don't remember the place I took it off. Hmm, I don't know. Have you found it carefully? Do you think you still leave it in your room? Maybe, Mom. Let me check it. Have you seen it, Lana? No, Mom. I'll be late for school. You're wearing your backpack. Why are you still looking for it? Ha <laughs> ha You are so absent-minded. Mom, you knew that. Why didn't you tell me? Because you look so funny. It's late now, Lana. I think you should go to the bus station now. Yes, Dad. Goodbye, everyone. Tom, have you prepared everything you need for today's lesson? Yes, I did it yesterday. You are a good kid, Tom. Of course, Mom. 
I will always be good to become Spider-Man and then get married to Lily. Do you love Lily, your sister's friend, who often comes to our house to play with you and Lana? Yes, Mom. I really love Lily. She is always gentle with me. She also looks so cute. Lily has brown hair, blue eyes, and I love them so much. Wow, Tom. I'm fairly surprised about you. Okay. I believe you can make your dream come true. Thanks, Mom. Let's go to school, Mom. Okay, here we go. Goodbye, Dad. See you in the evening. Love you so much. Bye, son. Have a good day at school. I love you too. We have already come to your school. Remember to be obedient and listen to your teacher. And don't forget to say good morning to her. Yes, please. Who will pick me up this afternoon? Your dad. I will be very busy today. And I will be back home late. Let me take you to your class now. Yes, mom. Good morning, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, Mrs. Mary. Hi, Tom. Let's go in your seat. We're ready for class now. Yes, please. Goodbye, Mom. I love you. Bye, son. Love you. Mrs. Rachel, Tom's dad will come to pick him up today and he'll arrive late because his company is quite far from here. I hope you can play with him at that time. Okay, Mrs. Mary, I will remember it. You don't have to worry about it. Thank you, teacher. I have to go now. Goodbye, teacher. Goodbye, Mary. Go carefully. Hi, Tom. Have you waited for me for a long time? Yes, Daddy. The class ended for a while, and everybody went home. Mrs. Rachel played with me, and we watched a cartoon together. So, where is she? I don't know. She just went in, and you got there. So, ah, she's here. Hello, teacher. Thank you for being and playing with my son. I'm sorry for the late. You're welcome. Actually, your wife said you would be late and asked me to play with Tom. You should say thank you to Mary. So, we'll go back home now. Goodbye, teacher. Goodbye, Mrs. Rachel. I really want to see you again tomorrow. Bye, see you tomorrow. So, Tom, how was your day? Today was a very happy day. We learned about new animals through very lively videos. The teacher also taught us how to play basketball. I was the highest score on the basketball game my teacher organized. <laughs> Good job, my son. I'm so proud of you. Dad, do you feel that today is so hot? Yes, I feel it too. I drank a lot of water today, but it didn't work. So, can I swim when we arrive home? I haven't swum in a long time. Of course, Tom. Swimming is very beneficial for your health and height. You should invite Lana to swim with you. She also loves to swim like you. Yes, Daddy. Let's swim. Haha. <laughs> okay, son. 
Mom, do you see where my swimming glasses are? I took it out for us, but I forgot to give it to you. I'm leaving it on the desk. Oh, I see it. Thanks, Lana. Hello, Uncle Mark. Oh, uh, hi, Lily. My mom told me to bring some fruits for you. Are Tom and Lana at home? Thanks, Lily. Yes, they are going to swim now. Tom, Lana, Lily has come to play with you. Hi, Lily. Do you want to swim with us? It will be very fun. Yes, I love to, but I don't have swimwear. You can use mine. Let me take out the one for you. Thank you, Lana. Now, who wants to join a swimming competition? Yes, Dad. I will win this game. I can swim very fast. Don't be too confident, Tom. Lily and I can beat you easily. Right, Lily? Ha ha ha. Let's try your best, everyone. After I said to start, the three of you will swim from one end of the pool to the other. Whoever gets to the finish line first will be the winner and will receive a box of cakes in the house as a reward. Are you ready, Lily, Lana, and Tom? Yes, Dad. We're ready now. Three, two, one, start! Yay! I said that I will win this game. Congratulations, Tom. You swim really fast. Dad, I won one more round. I believe that I'll beat Ben at this game. Tom, do you agree? Of course, Dad. I will prove that I swim better than Lily and Lana. Okay, back to your position. Three, two, one, start! Yeah, I did it! Congrats, Tom. You are so excellent. Thanks, Lily. Dinner is almost done. Everyone, let's take a shower and have dinner. Lily, I've called your mom and she agreed to let you enjoy dinner with our family. Yay! Thank you! My mom made beef steak. So delicious. You can try it today. Wow, I love it. Come on, guys. Get ready to take a shower. Yes, sir. Go camping. Tom's family is going camping today. Let's watch the video and see what they will do during the camping trip. Yeah, finally, we got here. The view is so amazing and beautiful. Let's get out of the car and take our stuff out. Your mom and I will build a campsite there to have a place to take a rest after the meal. Tom and Lana. You two will arrange the tables and chairs, as well as put the food and drinks on them. Are you ready? Yes, Dad. Please, do it quickly. I'm so hungry. <laughs> okay, son. 
We put the food in the big red box. Yes, Mom, I see it. Mark, where did you put the tent stakes? I can't find it in the tent bag. Oh no, Mary. I seem to have left them at home. I took them out to double check the quantity, but forgot to put them in the bag. Mark, I had told you many times. You are so absent minded. What do we have to do now, Mark? I don't want to go back home too early like this. I'm sorry, honey. I'll go deep in the forest to find wood for making steaks. It will be very dangerous. Don't worry, Mary. I'll be back as soon as possible. Be careful, Mark. I believe in you. Mom, do you want to take a short rest here? We finished setting up the table and the food. That's a good idea. Good job, Tom and Lana. Tom. What are you doing there? I'm looking at flowers and insects. They're so small. I have a magnifying glass in the bag. Do you want to use it to see everything more clearly? Sounds great, Lana. Please take it out. You and I will explore what insects are doing here. Okay, Tom. Do you know what this is? Is this a worm? I'm not sure, Tom. It doesn't look like a worm. Let me ask Mom. Mom, can you come here for a bit? Yes, daughter. What's the matter? Mom, Tom and I are wondering, what is this type of insect? It looks like a worm, but I'm not sure about it. Hmm, let me see. Oh, this is a larva butterfly. Have you ever heard about it? Is it a little butterfly, Mom? Yes, but it looks very ugly, right? Let me tell you about the butterfly's life. Butterfly's mom lays many eggs on fresh green leaves or stems. After a few days, the shell of the egg breaks and a long worm-like caterpillar comes out. It's also called larva. Oh, it's here! That's right, Lana. A larva feeds graciously and grows quickly in size. Once the larva is big enough, it stops eating and enters the transformation stage. It stops eating anything at this time. After a few days, the shell of the pupa breaks and an adult butterfly comes out. Wow, it's so amazing! I'm back, everyone. Yes, Daddy. Could you bring the wood back to make the camp for us? Uh, no, I didn't. Sorry, son. So, we'll have to go back home now? We don't have a place to stay in. Haha! <laughs> Surprise! Where did you get them, Dad? I thought you left them at home. It's a long story. I was looking for wood when a snake appeared. <gasps> it's too big and terrible. I was so scared and ran as fast as possible to get rid of the snake. Luckily, I saw an expedition team in the distance and ran to them. 
When I got there, I didn't know that the snake hadn't chased me for a while. I told them about the stakes. Fortunately, they brought two sets of tents, so they accepted to loan me one stake set. So, let's make camp, everyone. It looks so cool, Dad. Yeah, let's grill beef. Two of you will take beef in the blue bag out. Your father and I will prepare for the grill and seasoning to marinate the meat. Yes, Mom. Did you forget to buy coal, Mark? Ah, uh, no, Mary. I will take it out for you. <sighs> I'm so sorry, Mary. What happened, honey? I didn't bring a lighter. How could I be so bad? Oh no, Mark. I don't know what to say now. Have you searched for it carefully? You may have dropped it somewhere. Let's look one more time. If we don't have a lighter, we can only make fire by rubbing the stones together. It must be flint. We don't have any flint here. So, we should find the lighter first. <gasps> oh my god, it's here. What is here, Dan? I don't understand what you had said. Where did you get the matches? You are a savior of our family today. I took them from home. What's the matter, Dan? I had forgotten the lighter at home, so we don't have anything to make fire. Fortunately, now we can use your matches to grill beef. Here you are, Dan. You're so absent-minded. Mary, you don't need to look for a lighter. I already have matches here. We can start grilling beef now. Wow, Mark, where did you get them? From our daughter, Lana. She has saved us today. What? Let me see it. Lana, you shouldn't play with fire. It's so dangerous. You may get damaged or even make a forest fire just by a match. How could it, Mom? It's just a small match. It could. It's the dry season, so the fire is easy to break out and spread. Many forest fires caught from the accident of human. Don't you know that? <laughs> Mom, I will never play fire in the forest anymore. You're a good girl, Lana. Oh, thank you, sweetie. Let's grill the meat now. Mom, please give me more beef. It's so yummy today. I also feel that tonight's meal is so awesome. Because today is a long day for everyone. All have to work so hard, so I think you'll be very hungry. Sorry, everyone. I was so bad today and made your mom very tired. No problem, Mark. You made today become one of the most memorable days of our family. Yes, a memorable camping trip. Mom, Dad, look up at the night sky. It looks really magical. Wow, so beautiful. Look, the moon is full and bright. 
I've never seen a big moon like this. The moon is actually much bigger than you think. We can see the whole moon because it is so far away from us. I knew it, Dad. I watched TV and they had talked about the moon. Good, son. Who wants to sing after the meal? I brought my guitar here and I'll play it for you. Are you sure that you brought it here, honey? Ha ha ha, I'm sure. I love singing! Yay! Visiting Grandparents Tom's family is going to visit Tom's grandparents today. Let's watch the video and what will they do at their grandparents' home. Tom and Lena, do you know what we'll do tomorrow? Tomorrow is Sunday. We will go to visit grandparents. Yay! That's right. So now, everyone will prepare the stuff for tomorrow's trip. Don't forget to bring the gift you've made for your grandparents, as I said. Yes, Mom. Mark, why are you watching TV? Have you prepared enough things we've talked about before? Of course I did. I've checked the fruit and wine we bought and carefully boxed it. The new message machine we bought I also put in the trunk of our car. Good job, honey. Ah, have you checked the gas of the car? Are you sure it will be enough for the trip? Yes, Mary. I just refueled yesterday when I went out to buy the fruit. Why do you worry about me? I'm just worried that you'll forget everything, like the camping day. No, honey. It was an accident. Forget it. <laughs> Tom and Lana, have you put everything you need in your bag? No, Mom. Do you see where my glasses are? Which glasses? The glasses with Spider-Man on the frame. Ah, I remember it. You have kept it in my room. I cleaned the house yesterday and saw that you left it in the living room. So, I kept it for you in my room. Let me take it out for you. Thank you, Mom. By the way, you should not leave things indiscriminately. Only bad kids do that. Yes, Mom. I remember. I can't see where's my picture. I spent three days drawing it. I really want to give my picture to my grandparents as my gift. Have you searched for it carefully? Yes, Dad. I'm afraid that I forgot it in my class. I think we should look for it one more time. I will help you with it. Thank you, Dad. Ah, don't forget to search for it in your bag. You may put it in, but forget about it. Hmm, let me see. <gasps> oh, no, you are right, Dad. I put it in there. I'm so absent-minded. <laughs> no problem, daughter. You are really like me. Okay, everyone, let's go to bed early. We'll start the trip early tomorrow. Yes, Mom. Good night, Mom and Dad. Good night. Mom, can I take Sam with me? I think he also wants to play with Lou at my grandparents' house. That is a great idea.
Okay, Tom, you will hug Sam in the back seat. Okay, Dad. Are you ready? Let's go now. Yay, we got there. Sam looks so excited. It's the first time he's been out this far. Tom and Lana, remember to say hello and ask about your grandparents' health. Yes, Mom. Long time no see, Lou. He looks bigger. Why doesn't he stop barking? It's so annoying. Come on, Sam. You're barking too? I think Lou forgot us and he'll bark with strangers. It's a normal thing a dog does. Let me call your grandparents. I think only they can stop it. Mom, Dad, are you home? Mark and Mary, right? I'm opening the door right now. Stop, Lou. You're so annoying. Good morning, Grandfather. I'm, I'm so, so happy, happy to, see to see you. Good, my children. Let's go in the house now. You must be very tired. Yes, Dad. We left early in the morning. Okay, get in. Your mom is very eager to see everyone. <laughs> Oh, is this Sam? I haven't seen him for a long time. Uh, yes, Grandfather. This is the dog that Grandpa gave me last year. He grows so fast. Okay, I'll put Lou in a cage so he won't fight with Sam. Hello, Grandma. How are you? I'm very strong. I miss you so much. Come here, let me hug my two children. We miss you too. Ah, I have a secret gift for you. Let me take it out. It's one picture which was drawn by me. Grandpa, do you like it? You draw very well. Yes, I love it. I'll hang it in the living room. I have a gift for you, too. Here you are. Wow, Tom, your robot looks so cool. Thank you, my child. It's my favorite robot of Tom. He just played it one time before. <laughs> you are so kind, Tom. Mom, Dad, I've brought some fruits and wine for you. Ah, we also brought a new massage machine. I know you have back pain, so it'll be very helpful for you. I love massage machines. I told your mom to buy one, but she didn't agree because it is very expensive. <laughs> Thank you. Lana, do you want to eat apple cake? Yes, Grandma. I love apple cake very, very much. Oh, let me bring it out for you. I just made them in the morning. Yay! I love apple cake too. Tom, come here with me. I really miss you, my boy. Yes, Grandpa. Uh, do you enjoy going to school? Do you play with many friends? I have a lot of friends at school. Also, I'm ranked first in my class. 
Good job, my boy. Let me kiss you once. Oh, Tom, you are so cute. You must be very hungry. Let's prepare for lunch now. Yes, Mom. I'll give you a helping hand. What will we have for lunch, Mom? I'm so curious. I will make chicken soup and baked ribs. That sounds great, Mom. Dad, how is your health recently? Have you and Mom still keep cycling as before? Yes, of course. We always cycle every afternoon. We go around the village. It helps us feel better and eat more in the evening. Yes, I'm strong like you, Grandpa. I even swim faster than Lana. She lost to me in a swimming competition last week. Because you're a boy, Tom. But you're older than me. Oh, both of you are so good. And Mark, how about your career? Everything is good, Dad. I'll be promoted to deputy director next month. Also, my wife has become the team leader last week. I'm so proud of you, Mark and Mary. Thank you, Dad. Do you want to try that massage machine now? I heard that it will make you feel so comfortable. Ah, uh, yes. Let me bring it out there, Grandpa. Okay, Tom. Be careful. It may be fairly heavy for you. Don't worry, Grandpa. I'm as strong as Superman. Grandpa, do you still have apple cake? I have eaten the whole cake. Yes, of course. You can go to the kitchen and ask your grandma. I remember that she made a lot for you and Tom. Yay! I'll go with you, Lana. I'm hungry, too. Ha <laughs> ha, these kids are so cute and docile. The Broken Vase Sunday is the day off that everyone looks forward to. Let's watch this video and see what Tom's family members do this Sunday. Good morning, Mom and Dad. Oh, my daughter is awake. Let's wash your face to have breakfast with us. Yes, Dad. Tom hasn't woken up yet? Yes, he's still sleeping in his room. Today is Sunday, so we allow him to wake up later than usual. Hurry up, Lana. I made your favorite apple cake for you. I also made orange juice, and it goes great with apple pie. Yay! I love it! So, Lana... I remember you had a math exam last Tuesday. Did you do it well? Yes, Dad. Lily and I were two people with 95 points, and that was the highest score in our class. Well done, Lana. Enjoy your meal. I will go out with my friends now. But, Dad, you haven't finished your noodles yet. You will be hungry. Thank you, my daughter. Don't worry. I'm full now. Besides, I asked my friends to meet me at the cafe at 8 o'clock, and it's almost late now. I'll go now. Bye, everyone. Love you. Goodbye, Daddy. Honey, please remember to buy beef and tomato, as I said yesterday. I will make beef steak for our family this lunch. Okay, Mary. I got it. 
Lana, how is the cake today? They're awesome. The apple cake you make is the best cake in the whole world. <laughs> hey, Lana, are they better than your grandma's cake? Oh, I forgot. Grandma's apple cake is also the best. You are so clever. Listen, Lana, I have to clean the house now. Can you help me feed Sam after having your breakfast? Yes, Mom, I just finished eating. Let me help you clear the table. Okay, you can put Tom's breakfast in the fridge so he can eat it when he wakes up. Yes, Mom. Then what will I do after feeding the dog? You can play anything you want in our house. Or you can wake your brother up and play with him. It's quite late now and he should get up. Okay, Mom. Ah, I will also make cupcakes for you and Tom after cleaning, so let you wait for it. Yay! Thank you, Mom! What happened, girl? Mom, I'm so sorry. I was playing with a ball when the ball accidentally hit the vase and knocked it over. The vase is broken. Are you okay, Lana? I was about to run to the living room. I'm okay, Mom. I swear that I didn't see the vase in there. I'm sorry, Mom. Calm down, Lana. Let's go to the broken vase with Mom. Here it is, Mom. Okay, please give me the brush to sweep this debris. It is in the kitchen. Yes, Mom. Look, Lana, you have to be very careful with broken glass. When broken, the vase will become small, sharp pieces of glass. You can easily cut your hands if you do not handle them carefully. Yes, Mom, I got it. And remember to be careful when playing, daughter. Yes, Mom. I think I'll do my science homework now. I don't want to play anymore. Okay, I will call you when the cake finishes. Good morning, Mom. What was that? Hi, son. Are you awake? Ah, uh, your sister played with a ball and unfortunately broke the vase. Go brush your teeth and wash your face. I'll heat up your breakfast cake right now. I already did it. Where Dad and Lana? Your dad went out with his friends and your sister Lana is studying in her room. Okay, I set a timer for the microwave. Your cake will be heated in three minutes. What are you doing, Mom? Well, I'm making cupcakes. They also include your favorite chocolate and vanilla flavors. Yay! They'll be so delicious! Do you want to watch me make cupcakes? Yes, Mom. I was going to watch my favorite cartoon, but I just remembered that that show has been moved to noon. By the way, can you help me to put your dishes in the sink after finishing your breakfast? Okay, Mom. It's easy. What did I do? Hmm? How can I break Mom's vase? This is the most favorite vase of Mom. She will definitely be very sad and 
disappointed in me. What should I do? I can't let mom be sad anymore. Ah, uh, I know. I hope mom will forgive me for the old face. I want to give you this new vase. Hopefully, it will replace the old one. Hmm, let me see, Lana. Where did you get it? I just got it in my room. I regret breaking your vase, so I made a new one. So you can arrange flowers. I used old water can, then colored and wrote letters to decorate it into a new flower vase for you. Yeah, I see it. This word is so touching. You are an emotional and cute girl. Thank you, Lana. Do you love it, Mom? Of course, sweetie. It is so meaningful. This new vase is definitely better than the old one. I will arrange flowers into it now. You make me so surprised. You're not mad at me anymore, right? Oh, no, Lana. I have never been mad at you before. I just want you to be more careful when using glassware. Yay! Thank you so much, Mom! Mom! I can make an even more beautiful vase than Lana's. Do you want it? You can do it when you break another glass vase, Tom. <laughs> well done. Look, Tom and Lana, such a cute flower vase. Mom arranges flowers really well. Thank you, son. Your dad must be so surprised when seeing this new vase. Mom, have you done the cupcakes yet? I really want to eat them. Yes, Mom. I'd love to try them too. Oh, I forgot. I had finished baking the cupcakes. Let Mommy take them out so we can eat them together while watching TV. Yay! Let me open the HBO channel. I remember that they will show a blockbuster on HBO today at noon. Is it Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone? Exactly. So I will help Mom bring the cupcake to the living room, okay? Yes, Lana. Looks like it's late for the movie. Hurry up, Lana. Okay, Tom. Lana's Mask The evening at Tom's house is also very interesting and fun. Let's watch the video and discover an evening at Tom's house. Daddy, come here. I want to whisper you one thing. What's the matter, son? Do you want to eat something? I'm quite hungry, Dad. Oh, okay, Tom. Do you want to eat an apple? I know that your mom just bought many apples this morning. They're so great. Really, Dad? Okay, let me ask Mom. Mom? <laughs> I heard all the conversations between you and your dad. Let me go peel apples for the two of you. Thanks, Mom. Uh, Tom, can you go to Lana's room and call her to the living room to eat apples together? Yes, please, Mom. It's weird. After finishing eating, Lana ran up to her room immediately. It's close to her favorite movie, but she won't come down. I don't know what's going on here. 
I think she must have had too much homework today, so she needs to go up to her room quickly. Lana, would you like to eat an apple? Mom is peeling delicious apples, so you won't have any apples to eat if you're late in the living room. Lana? Are you in the room, Lana? Yes, I am. Come in, Tom. I have an interesting thing I want to show you. See, I never guess wrong. What happened, son? You look so scared. Calm down, my boy. Tell me about it. Dad, Lana looks so scared. Lana has a scary mask. She wore it to scare me when I went up to call her down for an apple. Poor son, is it really that scary? Yes, Dad. I have never seen anything so scary like this. Lana, why did you threaten your brother? Did you know that he's very afraid of ghosts? I'm sorry, Dad. I had apologized to Tom, but he was too scared, so he ran away from me and told you. I was afraid of being scolded, so I didn't dare to go downstairs. You need to promise that you won't tease Tom anymore, Lana. Then everyone will not blame you anymore. Yes, Dad. Sorry, everyone. I will never tease Brother Tom anymore. I am so sorry, Tom. Okay, Lana, come here and eat apples with us. By the way, it's time for your favorite film. Do you remember it? Yes, Mom. I'm coming down right now. Let me take more tea for everyone. I made them last afternoon. Great, Mary. Thank you, honey. <gasps> oh my god, Lana! What is this? You just threatened me out of my soul. Mark, look at your daughter. She's naughty like a boy. Dad, that's the mask. It looks really scary. Lana, why are you still wearing the mask down to the living room? I'm so sorry, Mom, Dad, and Tom. I just want to show Tom that everything on this mask is not real. I don't want Tom to still obsess about this mask. Oh, Lana, I blamed you wrong. Sorry, my daughter. But I still think you should keep this mask in your room. Then you can come down here and enjoy apples. Yes, Daddy, I got it. Do you want to eat this final cake? I'm full now. No, Lana. I don't want to eat your cake. Why, Tom? You love this cake so much. Tom may still be mad at you about the mask. He was so scared. But I had apologized to him immediately. Okay, Tom. I will eat it. Tom, if you finished your breakfast, you should prepare a school backpack and clothes to get ready for school. Today, Dad will take you to school. Yes, Mom. I also finished my meal. I will go to the bus station now. Goodbye, Mom and Dad. Lana, wait! Are you going to wear your sandals to school? <gasps> oh no, I forgot. Thanks, Mom. It's still early, daughter. You even forgot your school bag on the table. Thanks, Mom. Okay, bye.
Bye, everyone. Bye, Lana. I wish you a happy school day. And remember, not to tease your friends with the ghost mask. They may be very scared like your brother. Yes, I got it, Mom. Tom, are you ready? Okay, Dad, let's go now. Don't you want to say bye to your mom, Tom? <gasps> uh, sorry, Mom. Goodbye, Mom. See you tonight. I love you. Bye, son. Bye, Mark. Have a good day. Thank you, honey. <gasps> wow, this snake is giant. Aren't you afraid of it, Tom? I'm not scared. This snake is only in this film. Do you think that Harry Potter can kill it and save Hermione? I hope so, Tom. But he needs a very powerful weapon. He can't beat it by hand or magic chopstick. He has to find it first. He doesn't know where the snake is. That makes sense, Lana. Mark, can you help me to watch this potato soup for me? It's almost done, but I need to go out now to receive some important things. Okay, honey, I'm coming now. Tom and Lana, can you tell me about the missing part of the movie later? Thanks. Okay, Daddy, believe us. Oh, Ben, long time no see. How are you and your family, my old friend? We're good, Mark. How about you? My family is also very happy. Do you remember Tom? He is six years old and has become a very smart boy. Of course, Mark. The last time I visited you, Tom was just learning to talk. By the way, Lana must be very different. I remember that she was very intelligent. Yes, Lana is a cute girl. Ah, oh, Ben, when are you going to get married? Oh, I forgot. I called to inform you that I'll get married to Monica next month, and the wedding ceremony will be held at my house, and... I would be very happy if you and your family can attend my wedding day. Congrats, Ben. Of course. We will definitely come. Oh no! What is this smell? Mark! What's wrong with my soup pot? Ben, I have to stop the call now. I just made a big mistake. Bye, and hope to see you soon, my friend. Bye, Mark. Oh no, Mary. I forgot it. I'm so sorry. We can't eat it anymore, Mark. What will we use for our meal now? I didn't mean to do it, Mary. Ben called to inform me about his <gasps> wedding next month. I was so busy talking to Ben and forgot to look at the soup. Really, Mark, I'm so glad to hear that. So, we will order pizza for our meal and to congratulate Ben. What do you think about it? Aren't you mad at me? I love your idea. Okay, let me call pizza for everyone. Hurry up, Mark. I think that the children are very hungry now. Okay, honey. Today, 
Lana's teacher was called to her parents to report her mistake in class. Watch the video to see why and how her parents helped Lana to realize her mistake. Do you think this word is pineapple? It is a yellow fruit and pineapple chunk that can be used in desserts such as fruit, salads, or cake. That's right, Lana. Let's see the next word. This fruit grows on vines, can be eaten raw or cooked, and can be made into lots of things like jam, juice, vinegar, and oil. Its name has five characters. Is that pumpkin, Lana? I don't think so. We make vinegar from pumpkin. Also, pumpkin has seven characters in it. What about grape, Lana? <coughs> yeah, I think it must be the correct answer. You're right, Tom. Grape is a reasonable answer for this word. Only two words left. We'll finish all the crosswords about fruit. I don't know if mom and dad have finished preparing dinner yet. I'm feeling a bit hungry now. Yes, Tom. I'm also curious about what we're going to eat tonight. Why is dad in the kitchen with mom today? I have no idea, Lana. I think we should focus on the two final words here. I won't win this game now. Okay, Tom. It's done, Mary. I washed and arranged all the ingredients needed to make the pizza, as you said. Thanks, Mark. Can you help me to go out and buy some drinks to have with the pizza? I'll make the rest of the pizza and bake it. Of course, Mary. I'll buy a Coke for you and the kids. By the way, do you want to drink beer? We haven't drunk it in a long time. That's a great idea, honey. And remember to buy chili sauce. The chili sauce at home is gone. Okay, sweetie. I'll go now. Mark, someone is calling for you. Let me see. It's Lana's teacher. I think she has called to report her school results. Let me answer the phone. Hello, Mrs. Ann. I'm Lana's father. Hi, Mr. Mark. How are you? I wanted to tell you a little bit about Lana's situation in class. Uh, yes, I'm not busy now. I'm ready to listen. Actually, Lana is quite naughty in class these days. Could you tell me a little more detail? What did she do at school? Lana often teases her friends in class. She hides in the wall with a mask and jumps out to scare her friends. Some of them are startled and run away or even fall. Oh no, I'm so sorry about that. I already reminded her in front of the class, but... I still want her parents to know and remind her a little more so that Lana realizes what she did wrong. That's why I called you today. We'll talk to Lana right now. Thank you, teacher, and hope you will help Lana more in class. I just wanted to inform you about it. Lana is studying very well and concentrating, so I'll hang up the phone now. Goodbye, Mr. Mark. Uh, goodbye, Mrs. Anne. So, Mary, do you understand the situation? Yes, I got it. I think you should talk to Lana. She was closer to you and listened more to you. You should explain to her why she shouldn't tease you with masks anymore. At that time, let me buy a drink and chili sauce for you. I believe you, honey. Okay. I'll talk to Lana now.
Lana, can you go to my room now? I want to talk to you for a while. Yes, Dad, I'm coming. So, Lana, did you often use the ghost mask to scare your classmates? Your teacher had told me about it, and she was sad about you. She really doesn't want you to do it anymore. I'm sorry, Dad. I so regret doing that. You shouldn't tease them too much or they'll be scared. If you want to tease your friends, they'll gradually hate you and stop playing with you. You'll be very lonely then. <sighs> Lana, I am a bit sad when the teacher calls and tells me about your mistake. Promise me you'll never do that to your friends again. Yes, Dad. I promise. I believe you, my good daughter. I will apologize to my friends tomorrow and bring my candies for them. I think they'll forgive me soon. That's a good idea, Lana. Dad, where's Mom? I'm so hungry right now. She's gone to the mini mart to buy some things for dinner. Do you want to play the Spider Man game, Tom? Yay, I love the Spider Man game. Dad, lift me up there. Okay, Tom. You shoot the thread and I'll take you where you want to be. <laughs> Whoa! Dad, I also want to play a Spider Man game. Tom, it's your sister's turn. You've been playing for a while, so take a break. Yes, Dad. I will let Lana become Spider Man. And I'm Iron Man now. I can fire by my hand, and I also have iron armor. But you can't fly like me! Ha ha ha! Flying is boring! Now, I prefer to walk and fight with the enemy. You're so smart, Tom. Ah, um, Mom is back. Yes, I bought Coke for you and Lana. Who wants to eat pizza tonight? Really, Mom? We love pizza. Okay, just wait for me a few minutes. I baked the pizza in the microwave before I went out, and I think it's ready to eat now. Yay! Let's eat pizza! Tom and Lana, you two have to wash your hands carefully before eating. Then please help me to bring the food to the living room. Today we'll have dinner and watch a movie. Yes, yes Mom, Mom, I got, got it. it. Cheers. Mom and Dad are drinking beer? What's in its flavor? It has a slightly bitter taste and is very cool to drink. You'll be able to drink beer when you turn 18. Bitter? I think I still love Coke more than beer. Mom, can you give me a little tomato sauce? I can't eat pizza with chili sauce anymore. It's too hot for me. Oh, I'm sorry, son. Wait for me. Five seconds. Here you are, Tom. Enjoy. The pizza is awesome. You made it very well, Mom. Thank you, Lana. Why didn't you praise me, Lana? I also made this pizza with your mom. Oh, I forgot it. Good job, Daddy. Haha, <laughs> thank you, daughter. I also just bought grapes and kept them in the fridge. Everyone can eat grapes after finishing this pizza. Yes, thanks, Mom. 
So I have to eat pizza faster to eat grapes. Hang in there, Tom. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment on my video. Please subscribe to Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos. Goodbye.